These are eight records and titles, and the smartphones that hold them in mobile phone history. Let's start with some relatively simple ones. Did you know which is the biggest smartphone in the world? Well, the answer to that is the Huawei Mate Xs, standing at a whopping 8.0 inches tall. Yeah, basically, it's because this thing is a foldable. On a normal standpoint, it's a 6.6 inch smartphone, which honestly is still kind of decent, considering that even with this, it's still among the other top tier phones when it comes to height. However, what if I told you that even this phone isn't the largest. Just recently, a YouTuber named Mr. Hose the Boss created the biggest smartphone ever, which actually turned out to also be the biggest smartphone in the world, standing at a whopping 2.054 meters or 80.87 inches tall. Yeah, it's over 10 times larger than its competitor. Not too shabby, I would say. This was just the first record, and I bet you cannot imagine what other records I've gathered toward the last part of the video. So for now, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's keep going, okay? Now, which phone has the best performance. And when I say performance, we're talking about speed. Well, there are three prime candidates, the ZTE Nubia Red Magic 9 Pro, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, on a normal standpoint, we already know that both the iPhone and Samsung have ridiculous phone performance, as they both have the A17 Pro chip, which utilizes a 3 nanometer process, and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, respectively. However, the ZTE Nubia Red Magic 9 Pro takes things even further. Although it does run with the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 as the Samsung, because it is specifically made for gaming, there are some other really good extra perks that make it stand out more. For example, this phone comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is also upgradable to 24 gigs. Yes, its potential is limitless, and that makes it take this category. However, I want to say that the Vivo X100 Pro is also a very good candidate as well. Moving on to a very controversial attribute or feature, I don't know what to call it to be honest, is the camera. Now, there are a lot of photos to consider here, and I mean a lot. However, after doing an all-out research, I managed to get five main phones that stand out the most. And note, I know there are a lot of things to look at. The clarity, the options and settings the camera presents, the features, and heck, even video quality and features as well. Truth be told, this would need a full video on its own. However, I believe the top phone to take this category actually slams all of these categories. Okay, now, I believe there are four phones to consider here. The iPhone 15 Pro Max, the Google Pixel 8 Pro, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, and the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Now, amongst all of these, which one is better? When it comes to the iPhone 15, it has a 48 megapixel camera with pixel binning technology that combines four pixels into one for enhanced low light performance. It also has some other cool features like a new periscope zoom lens, which gives it a really smooth 5x optical zoom and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, which is perfect for landscape and macro shots. It supports Pro Raw and Pro Res, which can come in handy to record videos at 4K. Man, I just love 4K video, but it's ironic because my videos aren't uploaded in 4K, not yet at least. Anyways, I tend to believe that the rest of these phones are really similar when it comes to all these perks. However, one of them blows the rest out of the water when it comes to the back camera, and that is the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. This phone not only has a 32 megapixel selfie camera, but also four 50 megapixel cameras at the back with all four having high-end sensors. The main camera is the highest sensor a smartphone has ever gotten, which is just nuts. Normally, this phone should be crowned the winner in this category. However, due to the fact it kind of falls behind in the other parts, like video and front camera, I would have to give this one to the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, due to it being way more consistent and kind of above average in all these categories. Even though the Samsung took this one, it doesn't come close to this next category. Which phone has the best battery in the world? As you might have noticed, once again, we would take the biggest iPhone out of the picture. Now, which normal phone comes out on top? Well, the incomparable winner for this one is the Ucatel WP19. And yeah, I said incomparable because this beast just dominates this one as it has a 21,000 milliamp hour battery, which is basically like four to five times the battery capacity of our regular phones. However, other phones like the Fossabot F102 are also great to look at as it has a 16,500 milliamp hour battery, which is just about 4,500 less than the top. But let's be honest, that's still a pretty big gap between them. The Okitel WP19 just murders the rest, and if it's used for doing just 
most basic stuff like calls and others, it could last for over five days. Yes, five days. Hmm, is anyone thinking what I'm thinking? Anyways, if you're on standby, 60 days, yeah, this phone just takes it and it's not even close. Now, let's talk about speakers. Truth be told, there are quite a few ones to consider. The Sony Xperia 1V, the Asus Arage Phone 8, which is one of the best to be honest, the Apple iPhone SE, the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G, the Apple iPhone 15 series, and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, amongst all of these, I would go straight to the point and give this one to the Samsung, for the sheer reason that the Samsung just generally sounds better and gives out better bass than the others. But hey, I'm human, so we do have some inconsistency in hearing sometimes. But even with that, I just think the Samsung is the leading contender here, and I'm talking about the S24. However, the iPhone 15 comes really close to this as well. Another category that Samsung slaughters the rest in is screens or let's just call it displays. Although other high-end smartphones come really close, like the OnePlus 12, the Google Pixel 8 Pro, and the iPhone 15, Samsung still dominates. It boasts a 6.8-inch AMOLED display with a 120 hertz refresh rate and can reach up to 2,600 nits of brightness. The screen also has an extra dim mode that allows it to drop as low as one nit while still maintaining good color fidelity. To top it all off, it also has Corning Gorilla Armor, which reduces refresh Reflections. The Google Pixel 8 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max have excellent displays as well, but they don't quite match the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra in terms of peak brightness and refresh rate. The OnePlus 12 has a great display too, but it's more of a gaming display with a focus on high refresh rates and fast response times. Overall, the number one is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, best overall display. The second is the Xperia 1V, which is best color accuracy and 4K resolution. The Google Pixel 8 Pro, excellent display with great color accuracy. The next is iPhone 15 Pro Max, excellent display with high contrast ratio. And then the OnePlus 12, great gaming display but debatably could take third place. Our next category is storage. Now, I think I just have to call out the list of smartphones with one terabyte of storage and let them take the record. Apple iPhone 16 Pro Max, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Man, Samsung is taking the lead here. They straight up took multiple records. Google Pixel 8 Pro, which only comes with this option on its premium variant. OnePlus 12, which honestly, I'm really shocked it could extend its 512 gigabyte option to that. Xiaomi 14, Ultra Asus ROG Phone 7, Ultimate Gaming Phone, yeah. Just had to add the gaming part since it's specifically made for that. When it comes to durability, I think it's obvious that no phone, and I mean no phone, comes close to the Nokias. I mean, they are literally indestructible. However, which Nokia takes this? Well, the Nokia XR21 is a very rugged device that is said to withstand anything life throws its way, so good luck trying to break this on your head. Yeah, I guess that's pretty dumb. But overall, this phone takes the crown, and the difference is not even close. And finally, the most important record for today's video, the iPhone 6 and its record for being the most flexible phone in the world. Yeah, I know, I know, but it is what it is. Tell me in the comments if you want more videos like this.